So if we're asked to solve something like this, we're trying to get x by itself. Um, up to this point, when we've been trying to get x by itself, that's involved adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, uh, maybe a square root or two here or there. Um, but our x is in the exponent. It's stuck in the exponent, and we can't get it out of the exponent using multiplication or division or anything like that. So what we're going to have to do here is we need to see if we can write both sides so that they have the same base. Okay, so on the right side we have a base of 3. So can we write 9 so that it's base 3? 3 squared is equal to 9. So we're going to replace the 9 with 3 squared. Since they now have the same base, the only way this equation can be true is if the exponents are equal to each other. So I don't want to say our bases are going to disappear here, but they kind of are. Okay, we're just going to set the exponents equal to each other now that we have the same base. And then now it's just a linear equation. Subtract 1 from both sides, so 1 is our x. This is an equation, super easy to check. Go back to the original. Plug in your answer. 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 squared is 9. Okay? Now, B, we've got to do a little bit more work with B. <clears throat> we've got 1 half to the X is equal to 8. So when I look at this problem, what I see is I see I've got 2 over here and I've got 8 over here. I know 8 is a power of 2. So... Um, but it's not just 2 on the left side. I've got 1 half. Well, we can write 1 half as 2 to the negative 1. Okay, 2 to the negative 1 is the same as 1 half. And 8 we can write as 2 cubed. Now, when we have a power raised to another power, we multiply. So that's really 2 to the negative x is equal to 2 cubed. We've got the same base, so we set the exponents equal to each other. That means negative x is equal to 3, so positive x is negative 3. And we can plug that in here to check. 1 half, make sure we put the 1 half in parentheses to the negative third, and it is 8. So you can see, 2 is equal to 16 to the 2x minus 1. So we're going to use base 2 again. 16 is 2 to the 4th. Power to a power, we've got to distribute it this time. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. We've got the same bases. Now, the left side doesn't look like it has an exponent, okay, but if there's no exponent, remember it's understood to be 1. So we've got 1 is equal to 8x minus 4. We've got to do a little bit more to solve this equation, but it's still not that bad. Add the 4 to both sides, 5 is equal to 8x. Divide by 8, x is equal to 5 over 8. Now, D is just a little bit different in that to solve this one, before we try and get the same bases, we've got to get that exponential expression by itself. So this has got to be on the side by itself, so we've got to move that 5 first by subtracting. So 130 minus 5 is 125. Now we can rewrite the right side so that it's base 5. We've got the same base, so we set the exponents equal to each other. 2x is equal to 3. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 3 halves. And we can plug it back into the original. Be careful with parentheses. 5 to the, put it in parentheses, 2 times 3 over 2 
Technically, you don't really need to put the fraction there in parentheses. Close the parentheses, add 5, and it's equal to 1 